Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. I want to start this episode off with a question. Now that we're, uh, well, coming closer and closer to the ending of the main game, I was wondering what you guys want me to do first. Because of course we have two DLC packs we have to work our way through as well. And I was originally planning to do those first before the ending of the main quest and then do the ending of the main quest to end the entire series but I was wondering what you guys want me to do do we start off in a few episodes with hearts of stone or do we first continue the main quest and uh, do the DLC packs after that so let me get, let me know in the comments what you guys prefer and I'll uh, take that in consideration but first today we're gonna do a few uh, secondary quests if you might remember in the episode with the missing miners we killed the Cyclops on the way and that started off the quest hard times where uh, the Cyclops apparently butchered one, uh, well, the entire bunch of people that were uh, guarding that cart. Well, let's take care of those bandits first. And he lost a leg. There we go. So we're back at where we killed that Cyclops. And now we're going to take a look at that cart. Blood hasn't even dried. So yeah, that's a dead horse, Gerald. And then this Wasn't guy. A fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Because I don't think this quest will take a long time. Although there might be something else going on around here as well. Anything else I should see? Doesn't really look like it. Maybe someone was tossed away here. Oh. Okay. So there are tracks leading away from here. And that sounds like Neckers. Damn, you're ugly. There we go. That was. They were level 6, so that didn't take long. There we go. Did the bodies end up here or... It doesn't look like it. But let's just loot the little buggers. Where's the blood? Ah, okay, there's the blood. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Going over here. Oh. Another victim. And a letter to Yan. Yan, my dearest son, ill is our lot of late. Singa's husband's ship crashed in a storm during its last expedition. Bjorn survived, thanks to gods. But weeks will pass before this captain his captain builds another, and meanwhile, life must go on. He weren't taken on for the building, so he's earning no coin. We're eating our winter stocks now, and I fear to think what we'll do when they run out. That's why I'm sending Singa to you and asking for your help on behalf of all of us. If you can, find work for Singa and then Bjorn will and I will come to Kertrolde to stay with you. Perhaps there's some work for Bjorn with you at the forge. And if work is scarce around Kertrolde as well, lend Singa a few coppers at least and I'll give it all back with interest once we're out of this plight. With belief in your good heart and thanks in advance, your loving mother. Okay. Deliver the letter to the smith at Kertrolde, because that's where the mother tried to bring her other kids, if I uh, understand that correctly. I'm going to try to avoid those bandits. And I'll head back to the warping point, and uh, we'll go to Kertrolde, so see you guys there in a minute. So we're on the bridge to care troll the yeah final preparations. I found out that it's a, just switches between daylight and, and uh, night time. So if we're at night, we can't do the part with Siri, and that's why it's continuously switching between. Yes, you can go to Siri, or yes, you have to wait until daylight. Where is the blacksmith? Um. Okay, I don't see the man. No. So let's meditate for a second and maybe when it's daylight he might pop out. 
There we go. Ah, there's the blacksmith. Hello there. I want to talk to this man. Jesus Christ, what's going on? I can't seem to talk to this guy. I can't talk to the guard, but I can't talk to the blacksmith. So let's meditate another hour. Oh, and now there's another man. This is the armorer, but... Okay. What's going on? So you're back. Was right, wasn't I? I don't think I ever talked to you. Uh, so I'm at the wrong guy here. So long. Swords need something. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind every. Maybe it's this shot. blacksmith. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we're correct. Something that was meant for you. Letter from me mum. Says here me sis was bringing it. How'd you come by it? Well, uh, they were slaughtered by a cyclops. Came across some bodies in the woods, victims of a monster attack. Found this letter on one of the dead, a woman. I'm sorry, man. Ah. Uh. I told her and mom so many times. Come over, live with me. No, I had to stay on Pharaoh. I'm sorry, man. I gotta send someone to fetch your body. I'm sorry. Thanks for bringing word. Not every man will go to the trouble. Here, take this. Thank you, man. Glad we could help a bit with uh, your grief. So that was the uh, Hard Times quest. Not that much about it, but another little story. So uh, I'm going to check out the quest log and we'll see what we're going to do next. Well, uh, hopefully something a bit more fun, a bit more cheery, is we're going to go check out an abandoned sawmill that we found earlier on. So uh, see you guys there. Hopefully I don't find too many corpses over here, but uh, this is still the Witcher, of course, so a lot of people die. Let's see what we need to check out. Because I don't really see what we need to... Maybe inside the houses? Hello? Ooh, there's a book here. Hmm. Strange. Okay. Sawmill owner's notes. The druids are on the warpath. Moved from wards to deeds. Every mord we come to the mill to find our equipment damaged, destroyed. Last night someone tossed an axe into Vil's door. Folk are scared. I'll talk to the druids one last time. This must end. Okay, so the people here were in uh, discontent with the druids. Well, the druids were in discontent with the sawmill owners probably. Because they destroyed the trees. Okay, there's a chest over here. We could see that with our own eyes. But Lumberjack's letter to his wife. Don't know how long I'll stay here. Till now the work was tough, sure, but we earned a decent living. Lately though, I fear for my life. Something haunts the place at night. It roars and wails when we can't stand it anymore. And the wolves, they're always howling. Yesterday Seamund went to the privy during the night and never returned. Didn't find no body nor tracks. Who knows, maybe he ran off. I'd rather that than something worse to have happened. Truth be told, I think about leaving here more and more lately. About going back to you and the young'un. I'm no fool, maybe I could learn one another trade and we'd get by somehow. So a monster and there were wolves howling. That sounds like a lesson, and since we're in the woods again and the druids might have had a hand in this. I don't know, I'm just theorizing right now. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh wait. What's this? Bodies. Human bones. Guess they're all that's left of the lumberjacks. Okay, that escalated quick. Okay. Kill the lesson. There we go. There it is. There it is. Hello. Need to dodge that. On fire. Yeah. 
Yeah, we dig knee, we... Well, make that happen. We make short work of that lesson. And we finished the abandoned sawmill. Monster bone tissue and lesion resin. That was another side quest, so I uh, guess I'll just have to go back to the menu and see what other quests we can do. So there are still a lot of uh, secondary quests on the map that I could do. I'm gonna quickly filter it for that. So we have one in Larvik. We have two in Larvik. I think that's where we fought the dragon for, I think. I'm not really sure. Might be somewhere else, but I'm gonna head there and see what they can tell me. So see you guys at Larvik. So we have a few icons here, so I'm just gonna take the first one here on the left and see what uh, we need to do for Torleif. You're a watcher. I see it right. Yes, yes, you are. Good work for me. If you're willing, some manner of evil prowls about. Got us scared to venture out of the village. Okay, and what kind of evil are we talking about here? Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. Okay, and why is that? The free as priestesses we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Okay. And from the start, no Cozy. ordinary man could handle the beast. But Sfera insisted. Mustered a crew and... Only four came back. The rest massacred east of the village. So they so must have seen it, right? They help. Uh, let's start. Oh, this is a Witcher contract. Okay, then. Which one is it, then? But hey, because I checked the quest log and I couldn't really find one that suited for me right now. But let's talk a reward. Let's talk about my reward. You want to bargain? How would you count it? Hating hands at the withers, or...? Hmm, by species. Drowner's less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prowls the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Um... Mm -mm. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. So, how much? That's the first time somebody actually started... Wow! I think this is gonna be above my level. Um... Let's start at 650. You know how to bargain, grant you that. Drop it a bit more. We'll have a deal. Okay, so let's go to 600 then. There we go. Ah, have it your way. Tis your neck on the line. That sounds like it's uh, an enormous task, but hey. I'll tend to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors, where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphera? Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut. Okay, thank you. Strange beast. It doesn't show me a red skull, so I could be able to do this. Don't ask me why, but it's level 16 for some reason. I wonder why the bounty was so high then. But hey, let's talk to uh, Sphera. Oh, ask this witcher. He'll tell you monsters don't set traps. What's the issue? Ye or anyone ever heard of a beast setting a wagon in the road, then waiting in ambush? They're too plain dumb for that, damn it. Dumb or no, they tore a few of our lads to shreds, and we ran like rats. They deserve to be buried. And you didn't see what it or who it was? Really thought you could take on this monster on your own? We had to try. If we didn't, who would? Yeah, me. Larvik, some kind of getaway from mutants, which you're stopping in every week. That's probably true as well. So tell me what happened. Willing to talk about it? Tell me what happened. Ask away. Okay, how did it look? Remember what the monster looked like? It were dark. Casper thought he saw something, but. Because I did. 
It okay. was huge. It's more all blood smeared. Bugger gutted Ungi with one claw, near spliced him in two. Sounds like a vampire. And where Our was that? You were ambushed. Tell me where. Short way from here. Because that was a pretty Long crappy description. Lockdown. Saw a wagon crosswise the road near the woods. We barely got to it when something came rushing through the underbrush and whoosh. Blood spurted in my eyes. I wiped it away, looked, saw Einar lying dead. Hmm, interesting. Thanks. Huh. For what? Uh, because we have a location now. So we're gonna head to that ambush site. It sounds in darkness with claws. It sounds like a vampire because that would also be smart enough to uh, prepare an ambush. But hey, we'll see about that when we get to that ambush site. So see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're here. We have blood on the right and a body torn to torn to pieces over here. Something really did tear him to pieces. Yeah, thank you for the uh, astute observation, Geralt. Looks like blood, but hmm. red clay. Red clay? What? Okay, and this? Mm, not much left. Beast must have dragged the shredded body to the woods. Okay, then maybe we can follow ascension. something. Gotta be capable of setting primitive traps at least. So it's leading knackers? Lead into the woods. The Hagu Man. Hagu Man, your average knacker is cowardly and weak and only ever attacks in groups, even then only when the group greatly outnumbers its opponents. Yet at times there will appear among them an individual who towers over the rest in terms of strength, stamina and cunning. Such knackers are usually called warriors, though that name is misleading. Warriors fight with honors, face with honor, face to face. These overgrown knackers act more like assassins. They strike by surprise, from hiding, in the back, or when their opponent exposes himself while attacking. Luckily, like other knackers, wa knacker warriors, are knackers. Warriors are vulnerable to all the signs, and their blows can be easily parried or countered with northern wind bombs and the ogroid oil. So let's apply that immediately. Okay, Ogroid oil over here on top of the silver sword. And let's follow the tracks. Maybe put on a Quen sign as well. And let's see. Found a good place for their nest. Yes, indeed. So let's explore the caves. No, no, don't walk into that. Poison gas. So let's go through this parting. Okay, we need to go over there. Doesn't look like there's more gas here. Nest. So let's put a quen sign on and let's jump in. So we need to uh, lure out the big one by killing all the Neckers in here. It sounds quiet. And I wonder why... Okay. Okay, where is it? There it is. Uh, guess I got company. That was not worth a... Uh, Screen. Okay. Where's my quen sign? There it is. I'm, I'm actually glad that he's fighting alone because this will be pretty easy, man. Just put him on fire. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Okay. Oh, he just leaves. So let's slaughter every necker again. Oh, 
Oh, come on. So we're just going to be extremely aggressive with this one, because... There we go. Hagoogman down. And now let's take a trophy. So, well, we'll probably cut... Ooh, divine. Nice sword. Let's cut off his head. As we do. Chop, chop, down we go. Off with his head. Okay, and there's a lot of necker corpses, so I'm gonna be collecting some loot, and then I'll see you guys back at the village to collect our reward. So I think that was my first necker contract, actually. A very special kind of necker. So, uh, we fixed your problem, Torleif. So will you help, then? Uh, we did. We kinda did. Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. Okay, uh, thanks. Tell us, was it a tough fight? Got any wounds, need dressing? Need to wipe no, that off right. my face. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, witchering. All right, your reward. This here's for you. 600 thanks. coins. So long. In the bag, I keep wondering why that was such a high bounty, but hey. Not that I really care, so that was two secondary quests and a contract. Really, really nice. I think we did a lot of work today. So, um, again, I'm going to take a little break. And uh, don't forget to leave in the comments whether you want me to do the DLC before the ending of the main quest. Or do the ending, finish off the main quest first before we head into the DLC. Because I think the DLC also... Uh, causes the the ending of the main quest because that's actually the chronological order I think uh, you take it best in. I think the ending scenes of the main quest change depending on what you did in the DLC but that's just uh, an extra bit of information you, you might want when you uh, post your decision. So let me know in the comments whether you want me to do Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine first before we end the main quest or not. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!